You know how I said the last time that vanilla cake was my absolute favorite in the world? Well, it still is, but this one I'm about to show you today is kind of dragging with it. I am making tres leches cake and tres leches is Spanish word for three milk, so three milk cake. I have some eggs separated, sugar in two parts, milk, some flour, salt, baking powder and vanilla extract. Let's get down to business. The first thing I am going to do is to whip up the egg yolks and 120 grams of sugar until you get something really pale. Then add the dry ingredients in two parts. At this point, I ditch my mixer and gently use my spatula to fold it in because I do not want to knock the air out. The batter is quite thick and I am going to loosen it up with some milk and vanilla extract. Once that is nicely mixed in, we move on to the egg whites. Make sure your whisk attachment is free from any residue because any type of fat will make it not fluff up properly. With the mixer on medium to high, whisk up the egg whites until you get a soft peak. Then go in with the other bit of sugar and continue whisking until stiff peak forms. All the measurements will be in the description box. Now is the time we strategically marry both mixtures together. Get your butter, ideally it should be in the bigger bowl and with a metal spoon, take a spoonful of the fluffed up egg whites to loosen the butter. You have to be really really careful because the precious air we have worked in must remain. I am using a metal spoon because it has enough sharpness to cut through the butter while folding and still maintain the airy integrity. I will add my egg whites in 3 batches. You have to carefully mix everything well before adding the next batch. Do not be tempted to rush it. We need the air. It is really light and fluffy and looks really smooth. This cake is, like the way I keep saying carefully, it's almost like, you know, you're baking a baby. No, you can't bake a baby. That's wrong. Just ignore me. I didn't say that. Get a big enough baking dish. This one is about 24 by 24 centimeters. You can equally use a tin, but something nice because it will be served in it. I'm greasing only the bottom because I do not want the cake to pull away from the sides while it bakes. Gently pour in your butter, give it a gentle tap and bake in a 170 degree preheated oven from anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes. I just want to quickly show you what it looks like before it shrinks. It shrunk a bit when I opened the oven a few times to check for doneness. I put it back in the oven with the oven turned off of course and the door slightly opened so it doesn't cool too rapidly. I let it stay in there for about 20 minutes. So where are the milk you may be wondering at this point? I will be using some whole condensed and evaporated milk. Pour in 130 grams of evaporated milk into any holding vessel of your choice, 200 grams of condensed milk and 3 tablespoons of whole milk. Stir that and set aside. Get your cake and a fork and poke holes in it. Don't go crazy, okay? Now the fun part. Pour the entire milk, milk seeds, into the cake. Just trust me. I know it looks like a lot and you may be a little apprehensive. I was the first time I made it and everything I feared did not come to pass. You know all those airs we created? We made room for the liquid them. This cake is literally a sponge. Cover with plastic and let it sit in the fridge. I did it overnight but no one has that type of patience. I think I waited about 4 hours. Just before you bring it out, get some heavy cream and weigh about 250 grams. You know what, just forget it, pour the entire thing in and add a few tablespoons of sugar. Whip that up until you have something that is thick enough. Do not over whip though, it will turn grainy. So anyway, bring out your cake. It doesn't even look like we poured that much liquid in it. Spread your whipped cream and you are all ready to eat. I made some macerated strawberries to put on top. This is just fancy word for sugar added to strawberry to get its water out. Then a little dusting of cinnamon, totally optional. Slice into as many slices as you want or just eat it straight up. I ate one serving before I remembered I was supposed to show you. Guys, I promise you it is not soggy. It is anything but soggy. It is super light and moist. It has the right amount of sweetness. The strawberries go really well with this one and I am not even crazy about strawberries in general. The whipped cream is um, creamy. I mean that is what it's supposed to be. This right here is good stuff and it does not have any butter so one less thing to worry about. I absolutely recommend this one. Just make it and trust me you will be pleasantly surprised. It should be served chilled and that is just perfect for the summer heat. One final note of warning, it finishes really quickly and you really have to try this out to know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.